Hi guys, welcome back to the fun art room. Today we're going to be doing a value worksheet together that's going to teach us about value. And value is basically the amount of black or white a pure color has. But first, before we go through this, let's go through our materials. You're going to need paint with black and white and then a color of your choice. You're going to need your water cup and a brush, a paper towel, and you are going to want the value worksheet that you can find online or you can go ahead and make your own. So let's get started. Okay, so before we start, let's go ahead and go over some vocab. And remember, value is the amount of white or black a pure color has. So what is a pure color? Pure color is basically any color that's gonna come out of the tube untouched. So it has no black or white added. Another word we're gonna to wanna to know is monochromatic. The word mono means one, chromatic means color. So it means one color. Lastly, we're gonna to wanna to know tint and shade. Tint is any color with white. So you're gonna do add white. And shade is any color that you add black. So you're gonna add black. Now think of it, shade is like a shadow and your shadow is always gonna be darker, right? Cause it's, it's being cast at light or white is being taken away. So let's go ahead and look at our value sheets now. Looking at your value sheet, you're gonna to wanna to start in the center. And we just learned what pure color means. Now you can start with any pure color that you want. For this, I am going to use the color blue. And remember, this is just normal straight out of the bottle blue. And I'm going to fill in this box here. Okay, great. So once you have your pure color box filled in, we're going to be looking at our first category of tints, which remember is a pure color plus white. So if you look at your very first box to the right of your pure color, it says a lot of color with a little bit of white. So you're gonna go ahead, add a blob of pure color. Make sure you rinse your brush really good for this step. And you're gonna add just a little dollop, like a pea size amount on your brush of white. And let's see what happens when we do that. Now you can see, we still have blue, right? But it's now a lighter version of blue. It's a blue tint, or it is a tint of blue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more white to mine just because on camera, it doesn't pick up quite as well. But look at that. So we still know this is blue. If this is blue, this is light blue, and let's move on. For our last tint, we have a lot of white and a little bit of color. So let's go ahead and add a lot of white and just a pinch of blue. And when we mix this together, we should have an even lighter tint of our pure blue. So now we have blue, light blue, and this we're gonna call our lightest blue. Once you have this, go ahead and wash your brush and let's move on. Now we're gonna be looking at shades. And remember, like I said, shade is any pure color with black. So if we're gonna look at our first box, a lot of color and a little bit of black, you're basically going to do the exact reverse of this side. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, take my pure color and a little bit of black. So now we see our pure color and then our pure color with a little bit of black. So now we have blue, light blue, lightest blue, and dark blue. Now let's go ahead and make a lot of black with a little bit of our pure color of blue. So now we have our completed color scale or our value scale. Our value scale is monochromatic because it features one color. And all we've done is either add black or white to make different tints and shades. So this is a monochromatic value scale. It's a little bit hard to tell just because my camera doesn't pick up as well, but this is our darkest blue, dark blue, pure blue, light blue, and lightest blue. So you can choose any color to start with. For example, I previously chose this beautiful teal, but what you wanna practice is this gentle shift. You see how it goes from dark, lighter to lightest? That's what you're gonna to wanna to work on. All right, go ahead, get working, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, artists.